My memories about AFCON 2017, it's been eight years now, it's only positive. Um, when you win such tournament, uh, you can describe the feelings, you cannot uh, express um, what it means in words. Uh, it's, and everyone, is, it's, it's a personal feeling as well. But if you look back to it, yeah, it was big. It was uh, fantastic, um, the sportive side, but also the, the unsportive side. What I mean is the welcoming in Cameroon after the tournament, uh, the respect, the, the everything you get. Um, it's amazing. It's, it's enormous. In words, it's not, I cannot describe. What happened during halftime? Uh, nothing special, actually. I think we felt after 30 minutes that we were getting better in the, in the game, that we were taking a little bit hand by hand and dominating the game. Um, and we knew that physically we were stronger than Egypt, although we had only two days of recovery uh, at Egypt 3. But during the tournament, we were physically very, very strong and we were very well organized during every game. And that always gives us the belief that we could um, make a, a good score. Uh, so bit by bit we came into the game and at half time it was just supporting and motivating the guys to continue. Um, and once the 1-1, one -one, uh, we scored the equalizer. Um, really from the bench we pushed to, to win the game. Playing against Egypt is always difficult. Um, Mo Salah makes it more difficult than normally or than before. But... Um, uh, at that time, we were still playing in Roma, so I analyzed two or three games on his club site and we saw all the games from the AFCON as well. And then we we put on a strategy to, to neutralize his qualities and I think we did very well. Um, I think the, the most dangerous player was uh, playing on the opposite side uh, in, in our game. Uh, it was uh, Mohamed, the one who was playing in Belgium and Turkey um, and in the end the result gives us right that uh, we made a good choice tactically to win the game.